Hello everyone, the Ontario Gardener here. Cars in the background. So I'm bringing you guys now to a bridge, an old bridge near, uh, I'm out picking up bee supplies, uh, equipment from the, for my bees, for my honey bee hives and whatnot. And I went kind of the back way. Uh, I didn't realize, I forgot this bridge was here. But I'm like, you know, I'm gonna show you guys around. It's a, uh, right now I'm at the stream flow. It's a gauge. So it basically they can adjust the flow um, by opening different things. That's how it used to work. It's not like that anymore. But that's what this little shop was in. There's bugs. Can you see them right here? It's like like crazy. So I'll flip the camera around. Uh, pretty sure I had to do that. So here's the bridge. 3.4 meters. So that's what 13 feet, 14 feet. It's uh, Hamilton Bridge Works Company. I don't, I don't know what the date is on this. But this is old, old steel. They don't make bridges like this anymore. Like this is some thick metal here all riveted together it's not welded uh it's riveted riveted together with big old rivets and it's all rusted of course and then of course on here you have a nice thick deck board and it's basically these tire tracks are people doing burnouts probably and who knows what else just you know for not no reason and this here this isn't where anywhere this is called the the grand river uh in uh, ontario here a peaceful place i don't know if you can fish in here um you know most of this is obviously the river is public land you can't you don't own the river so people who own the road goes this way and then it continues on this way along the river on that side i'll show you in a second but you know no one owns the river uh, there's a fish right down there uh, if you could see it right there oh i can't right there i'll zoom in on it for you right no, i was gonna focus or not right there see it swimming so to answer the question are there fish in this river darn sure there is that's a big man i could have it was a trout the river is very kind of has this coppery color to it and a lot of that's from the minerals and stuff in the uh the iron and in, in the surrounding area that gives it that kind of tint it's, it's 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 uh it's perfectly fine like, there's no there's nothing it's not like it's dangerous all rocky bottom in here hard to kind of see a little bit but but when we have flood, like real heavy rains and stuff you know it does raise a little bit not too much because it's a very wide river right like where my finger is that's probably 50 feet here you're probably over 100 feet in width let's go to the other side i'm not sure if you'll be able to see it a little bit better this road's very little traveled there's not much back here some power lines because there is a house up in this way <clears throat> over here now this river is not very deep right below us here it's probably maybe three feet over here is you can't really see there's a pipe here from the old pump station you can see how there used to be le levels on this well there still are because years ago this was set up differently uh almost has somewhat of a little bit of a dam system it's not like that anymore it's just the bridge uh the bridge just goes down to there as you can see um like i said there are fish in here not a lot but I'm sure if you cast a line in here, you uh, you might pick up something. But this river goes a long distance. I'm not sure actually where it starts. Do some rapids up there. This would be a lovely place to get down here. I mean, I'm sure if you go over here, you could get down there and just kind of hike along here a bit. I don't know if this is private land. I don't see any signs. But again, it's one of those things where you don't just assume you can go just because there's no signs. But we're pretty remote here. I pull up to the side of the road up where my car is. Um, there's a little bit of a pull up there. I don't, it's not a driveway. It's on the opposite side of a driveway and the house sits back a bit. So I'm not worried about that. But yeah, look at that. The bottom is just that kind of rusty color. And I don't see any fish right down here. But on the other side, I found that fish right away. So down in here, this is pretty deep. It's probably maybe 8, 10 feet down in there. The bugs are out. These not mosquitoes. There's these little black gnat bugs <clears throat> let's go around over to here and yeah you could easily this might be a little tricky to get down there's there are no trails here like it says you know someone's uh again no one owns the river so if you come down here you could you could get down it's a little steep but you could get down there be a nice place i mean it's pretty mucky down there so you wouldn't be getting down there you couldn't have a picnic down there but if you're fishing I don't know if this is a stocked river or not, but look at that beautiful river. 
Like this would be, this is my type of river to fish. Cast your line. I mean, it's real shallow right there. You could you could wade out and stand in the middle there, and then cast down in here, reel your line and reels. Because the river's real slow. You see how slow it's moving here. It's faster up there where the ripples are because it's shallower. But when it gets deeper down here, there's not near as much. I don't see many other fish. Um, I saw that one right away. <clears throat> so maybe there isn't a lot of fish in, in this section. <clears throat> because when you have a lot of rapids like this where it's shallow, the fish, unless it's high water, the fish tend to get trapped in between sections. Like down there, there's more rocks with rapids. So the fish that are in this section here, like you'll have to stay here and it'd be hard for fish to get in here without it being like a higher tide, not tide, like a higher um, rainfall. And on the bridge here, they have these things here. This is for drainage. This just goes straight down below, as you can see. This is a lovely place and here are some flies that are doing their, doing their thing. Lovely place. I'd love to have some water like this around my house, around the farm, but it's just so dry. It's just nothing but sand. Look at these big beams. Look at this. It's all rivet. All rivets. There's no welds on this bridge. They're all riveted together. Amazing. And this is strong. I mean, I'm not sure what the weight limit is on this bridge, but it's been here a long time, and it will likely continue to be here for a long time. So there you go guys uh thank you for joining me this is a bit different video uh, i do want to say that uh throughout the summer i'll have a lot more of outdoors type videos i want to do some bush videos and bushcraft videos i have about 10 acres of bushland in the back of my property plus a couple you know an acre here an acre there of little land um with, with pine trees i want to do some some kind of some kind of bush videos like hatchet and certain fires and different things like that kind of outdoorsy stuff because i love doing that type of stuff love being outside and uh, yeah, so stay tuned for that, guys. But yeah, this is a lovely place. I'd love to live near here. If I live on this property here, near this, and if there would be fish here, and if I'd eat fish, but people in my family eat fish, so you're good there, I'd be out here probably every week fishing. All right, guys, thanks a lot.